okay? Today is, uh, let's see, today is April 3rd. My name is Henry Lingefeld. I'm a uh, retired electrical engineer, having designed a number of things. I started an uh, intense uh, research program on this about four weeks ago, and uh, started off with one design, then switched to another, and this is the final design of a ultraviolet light based sanitizing station for use in a COVID-19 hospital ward. Today I have a young man named Thomas, who's I, actually a nurse, who's going to be working in the uh, COVID wards uh, here in the Raleigh, North Carolina area. So he's going to demonstrate what this machine can do. Fundamentally, the machine has two intense ultraviolet light uh, sources, either uh, low pressure mercury vapor lamps designed for germicidal use. They emit at uh, ultraviolet C in a wavelength of 254 nanometers. So uh, these, this is the uh, uh, wavelength of ultraviolet light that kills viruses, bacteria, even mold spores. So this stuff is uh, strong. I've done a lot of analysis. This is the intensity we need to get the job done. But in order to use it, we, I've had to design in a lot of protections, a lot of shields, and a lot of absorbing materials so that we don't harm a nurse like Thomas here. So what he's going to do is demonstrate how it works. First thing I'm going to do is turn the machine on over here. It's key interlocked. You have to have a key to operate it, but you put the key in, and the key, once it's engaged, once I turn the machine on, then it uh, will, uh, you can leave it on, and the key remains in the lock. The uh, door is also interlocked so that if somebody comes up while the machine is on, it will automatically shut off if you open this door. The door's purpose is to enable you to do maintenance and to uh, maybe put in larger objects for disinfection. This uh, ultraviolet light will disinfect at line of sight. Now, I'm gonna turn the machine on. It's now on. This, this uh, uh, ordinary glass blocks ultraviolet C wavelength. So you can safely look inside the cabinet as you're using it. What Thomas is going to do is he's gonna step forward, place his hands inside and begin disinfecting his hands by rotating them so he gets full line of sight uh, UVC irradiation, which will kill or it actually it doesn't kill it actually disables the dna of the coronavirus such that it cannot be reprodu reproduce itself in other words it neuters the uh, uh, coronavirus or bacteria whatever's on his hands as long as he gets good line of sight the intensity is sufficient to do that the intensity at, at his hands is about 500 millijoules of UVC intensity dosage. So it's, it's more than enough to kill the virus. Okay, Thomas, why don't you demonstrate what you're gonna do. You have gloved hands, mm -hmm. and by the way, before he steps in, ultraviolet light will not penetrate these nitrile gloves or latex gloves. He has gown on with under underside dual fabric so that the light cannot penetrate to his skin. This is critical because we don't want to harm our nurse here. Okay, Thomas, go ahead. And if you'll notice, he stays, places his hands all the way in and rotates and rotates and makes sure he can see just enough light. Go ahead, and, uh, go ahead and get over here so that you can see. Can you see what he's doing? Rotate your hands there. As you rotate your hands like so, okay, good deal. Come on back out. It takes about 10 seconds to do the job to, uh, to neutralize our, 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 uh, this, to stop the virus from reproducing. Okay, I'm going to turn the light off and show you a couple of more features of the cabinet. One of the things you can do is let's say that you need to uh, disinfect uh, a, a mask. Why don't you take your mask off here? The uh, mask can be placed while there. You can stick your, put your hands right in here, place the mask on a, on a glass shelf, then re-engage the cabinet, turn it on, and you can uh, then uh, disinfect the, ha the mask. 
turn it over, give it full exposure on both sides, rotate it, and you can disinfect your N95 mask. The additional feature is that these specially designed lamps, if you back up there, are designed so that you can remove the lamp from the unit, place it on the back, it's a magnetic uh, clamp here, and you can use this to disinfect your whole body, whole gown, as long as you make sure you have eye protection and uh, no exposed skin. This is designed such that it will bl the light will come down here and you can use it to disinfect the uh, gown. You can also use this, this machine, once this is closed and you're turned back on, it can be used to disinfect the area, just like you see hospital robots do. Six minutes and 26 okay. seconds. Now, in, in addition, when the machine is running, we have provided a, a port here, an air port. You can run hose over to a ventilator so you can, you can draw out uh, disinfected air. This is treated with the ultraviolet light. And you can use that to, to feed a ventilator since the whole room is perhaps contaminated. This enables you to do that. This port is to enable you to unplug the unit inside, put the lamp up top side here, and treat a, an entire room. Use it as a portable device. We also have an uninterruptible power supply, so this unit has been tested and designed such that you can run for at least 30 minutes, as much as an hour, between rooms. Or if the power goes out, you have uninterruptible power. This concludes our little video. I hope somebody can put this to use. I hope we can get the FDA to look at it and approve it. In the meantime, this complies with FDA guidance on, F on UVC exposure as long as you're using uh, shield gloves and uh, shielding on your arms and protect the skin. So I hope this helps. And it's available free of charge. Any kind, any hospital, Maintenance staff can make one of these in a matter of hours. It's not, not complicated. I'll share the design. There's no obligation. Okay? Thank you very much.